Hello viewers, you are welcome to Wilson Global Learning and Training Academy. Uh, our to today's video in chemistry will be focusing on uh, electoral arrangement. In our previous video, we talked about the atom, atomic structure, the mass number, and the atomic number. So today we'll be focusing on how the electrons in the shell are, are being arranged. Now, we said the electrons revolve around the shell. First, the shell that is closest to the nucleus is filled first. In the arrangement, for example, we said the electrons are arranged based on certain rule. We said the maximum number of electrons in the outermost shell will be 8 and the innermost is 2. And uh, with a formula 2n squared. So if n is 1, you say 2 times 1 square. 1 square is 1 times 2 is 2. So the maximum number of electrons in the first shell, which is closest to the nucleus, is 2. And then subsequently is 8. So we have 8 electrons revolving around here. Okay? No. So that is that is that for that. Now let's take a look at each of the share energy level, first, second, third energy level as it were right now, the shell. As they are closer to as they get closer to the nucleus of the atom because we say the electrode themselves they are arranged in the nu in the shell revolving around the nucleus of the atom now in the first one which is closest to the nucleus let's take a look at how many electrons can be arranged there now we say two why because why because we said from our formula two n square the maximum number is for the first energy level n will be equal to one n is one for the first energy level so n will hold two if you take a look at the periodicity table you will be wondering why are the first two in the first period there are only two elements why uh, hydrogen and helium why are they the only two elements in the first uh, period because they have uh, they have only one, one element which is equivalent to two elements which is the maximum number of elements that can be held in that uh, atom or in that period so so to say now the first shell in an atom holds a maximum of two electrons the first shell this is the first shell in an atom it's holding a maximum of two electrons now the next shell is not going to hold two so the next shell will be what Eight. The second share has an atom. Uh, the second share in an atom holds a maximum number of uh, eight electrons. It holds a maximum number of eight electrons because the next formula, uh, the next uh, rule is two n raised to power two. So it therefore means the number of electrons here will be eight. So subsequently, eight will be held in every subshare as it were. So eight electrons will be held. If one shell is filled up, it automatically the electron goes to the next uh, shell. If eight is filled up in this shell, it goes to the third one, like as you see now in the third shell. Now in the third shell, the number of electrons, the maximum, only in the third shell will also be eight. But at this point, the total electrons will now be two plus eight plus eight, which is uh, 18. So if you put in, slot in your formula, two n raised to power three, two times three raised to power two, you will get 18, which is because n at this, in the, at this point in time is three. So the maximum number of electrons up to the third shell is 18. But the number of electrons that are found in each of these shell or energy level is eight maximum. The first one can only hold uh, two electrons. Is that okay? So this is, these are the uh, electron shares and these are the shares in which the electrons are being arranged and they revolve around the nucleus of the atom. Now we proceed to and see that this in a, just looking at the periodic table itself, a preliminary periodic table, like making use of the first 20 element. If you take a look at the first 20 element, for example, hydrogen has a number of electron one. Why? Because the atomic number is one. So if the atomic number is one, then therefore the number of electrons is one. And therefore helium, what's the number of electrons we have, as we can see here, because the atomic number is two, then the number of electrons is two. 
so and so on and so forth so this is how they have been arranged according to the atomic number uh, which is also equal to the number of electron one two helium is two lithium is three uh, beryllium is four boron is five carbon is six nitrogen is seven oxygen is eight fluorine is nine neon is ten sodium is eleven magnesium is twelve aluminium is thirty silicon is forty phosphorus is fifty Sulfur is 16, chlorine is 17, argon is 18, potassium is 19, and calcium is 20. I know you'll be wondering these symbols, what they mean. Don't worry, we're going to make a video on uh, chemical uh, elements and their symbols. How potassium became K, how calcium or sodium became, became Na. We're going to talk about this in one of our videos. Now let's move ahead and take a look at the the shell which element or which atom is shown by the electron arrangement now we we've, they, we've given you an electron arrangement we've shown you an arrangement we said electrons are arranged in the shell revolving around the nucleus of the atom now the first shell in this case has uh, two electrons and the next one also has two electrons so two plus two is four so which element or which atom has four electrons which is also equal to number of proto four so which is it helium no is it beryllium uh, boro no is it beryllium yes because the atomic number is four and the number of electrons is four Pro number of proto is four is that okay so great you see that's great now we move on to the next uh, atom if you take a look at this atomic arrangement let's take a look at this atomic arrangement and then you tell us from the electron arrangement which atom is this or which element is this which atom is shown by this electron arrangement take a look at this the first the first share has maximum of two electrons this which is this and this then the second one has eight so two plus eight is ten then the next one has how many one two three four five six seven eight so which means two plus eight plus eight which is a uh, 18 which one which atom are gone that's great so this is uh, the how electrons are being arranged in the in the in this shell or in the orbit how they be arranged the first one is two maximum is two the next one is eight and eight subsequently it doesn't mean that the outermost electron must be eight if it's eight it means it's already obey octet rule it means it becomes an inert gas or inert substance which means it doesn't need to react anymore it, because it's stable if it has eight in the outermost shell already it means it's a stable uh, atom it doesn't need to react because the reason why they react is to fulfill the righteousness of uh, be, having stability because uh, we said for an electron or an atom to be stable it has to have uh, eight electron in the outermost shell in the shell so if it's already having it uh, it's it, it's it's very relatively unreactive it's not that reactive as it were and uh, but if we have for example we have two here and we have eight here and we have one here in the outermost shell then we begin to talk about sodium because the atomic number is 11 because then and then we have two plus eight plus one that will be level which will be sodium so the number of electrons as they have been arranged in the shell or in the orbit they also can determine the element or the atom that we're talking about okay so that's great and that's for this uh, video you watch out for our next video which is going to talk about the periodic table and the electrons in the periodic table thank